What is going on here? I'll tell you what's going on. These falling trees are scaring away all my customers. No one wants to live here with trees falling all over the place. It's not safe. Trees are falling. Yeah, they're falling. What's to be done? What are we going to do? Don't worry, everyone. We're going to play, and we're going to get to the bottom of this. Besides the falling trees, has anyone noticed anything unusual lately? I noticed that my second toe is longer than my big toe. Okay. Anyone else? You know, I did see someone chewing on a tree trunk. You did? Where? Oh. <gasps> a beaver! Stop those chompers! Hold it right there, beaver! Well, howdy! Can I help you two with something? That depends. Are you the one making trees fall all over the forest? Whoa, 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 all over the forest? That's against the beaver code. Beaver code? If I do chop down a tree, by the water it must be. He's right, Sam. Beavers don't chew trees willy-nilly. They only knock down trees near the water that they can use to build dams in their homes. And look, this beaver's chewing on the tree's trunk. But so far, all the other trees have fallen from their roots. Like that! There aren't any bite marks on this trunk, but there are bite marks on the roots. So, whoever is making the trees fall is chewing them from somewhere underground. Underground, like a burrow. I think this case goes deeper than we thought. Deeper? <laughs> That's a good one. Hmm. Looks like nobody's home. Hmm. This is an expertly dug burrow. Whoever dug this had sharp claws and teeth, and they like to collect food and store it for later. Aha! Food like tree roots. Could be a lot of different animals, but whatever it is, it's definitely traveling underground. And chewing on the tree roots as it goes. Which kills the trees, which makes them fall over. Wow! That is some mighty fine detective work. To catch that root nibbler, I bet you're gonna... gonna... Uh, what are you gonna do? Whiskers, that's it! We can follow the falling trees to nab the root nibbler. Cluebot, scan for falling trees. This is a map of all the trees that have fallen in the forest. And there are even more falling now in that direction. So the root nibbler must be tunneling that way. And fast. We'd better get moving. Thanks for your help. Good luck, agents. Well, back to chewing that tree. <laughs> Agent Indy reporting for duty. Of course. You're a honey guide. You got it. Honey guide? Honey guide birds are experts at tracking down beehives. Ooh, ooh, there's a beehive over there, and over there, and there, and there. Whoa, whoa, slow down, agent. Sorry, this is my first real creature case. I'm a little excited. <laughs> You're gonna do great, Indy. But first, we need to find this honeybee's hive. That hive is right over there. Wow, he's good. Miss, I'm Agent Snow. These are Agents Casey and Indy. We're here to help you find your family. I'm Beatrice. I don't know what happened. I came home and everybody was just gone. Mom? Dad? Nope, it's just a honey badger. Mm. Hey, Birdie. What do you say you ditch those two, and you and me find some honey? We'll split it, 50-50. Ha! Are you kidding? I'm a clayed agent. And besides, I don't even eat honey. I much prefer the delicious beeswax. Beeswax? Blech. Speaking of beeswax, mind your own. Yeah, forget about it. That guy seemed pretty suspicious. Do you think he could have had something to do with the bee family's disappearance? <gasps> signs of a honey badger break in. They use their claws to get to the honey. And sometimes they even spray hives with a stinky smell to scare off bees. Nothing stinky here. Just the sweet, scrumptious smell of honey. Mmm. Uh, may I? Sure. 
Ooh, delightful. Do I detect a hint of acacia flower? Mm-hmm. Sir, are you going to eat that wax? Oh, help yourself. <laughs> Don't worry, Beatrice. I know every hive in the area. Oh. We'll check them all until we find your parents. Lead the way, Indy. Starting to think this case is bigger than just a missing shell. I'll say. I love that blue pen. But who would take all those things? And why? Let's go over the facts again. What's missing? A blue shell, blue roses, a mailbox, also blue, and my blue pen. Which I couldn't draw because I didn't have a pen. <laughs> Whiskers, that's it! Everything that's gone missing is blue! Sam, I think we've got a blue bandit on the loose. And you know how we catch a blue bandit? With blue bait. You're right. We'll need to use something so amazing, so blue, the blue bandit couldn't possibly resist. I know. Just the thing. Oh, no. No way. Absolutely not. Don't worry, Sam. This plan's gonna work, and you'll get your clue bot back without a scratch. All right. Setting ground traps now. Trap set. We're gonna catch this blue bandit red-handed. <laughs> get it? Red-handed? Because the traps are red? Feel like we're missing something, Kit. Talk to me. Back where Hermes' shell disappeared, we didn't find any footprints, right? But what if the wind didn't blow them away? What if the blue bandit didn't leave footprints because it wasn't on the ground? <gasps> what if... It flies! No! <laughs> Quick! We can't let it get away! Don't have to tell me twice! Come back with that blue bandit! Blue bandit. Hang in there! Daddy's coming! I mean, Clay is on the way! He's getting away! Not if I can help it! Blue Bot, Footprint Scanner! <laughs> I think he landed over here. What in the woolly world? This must be the Blue Bandit's lair. <gasps> Someone's coming! We'd better be ready for anything! Please don't hurt me, my mom says I have delicate bones. I'm sorry for taking your dishwasher or whatever that thing was, but hey, while you're here, do you have anything blue I could have? Wasn't ready for that. Aww. Sam, the Blue Bandit is a bowerbird! Yes! You understand? I'm not a bad bird, I'm a bower bird. Hey, I, I just take blue stuff whenever I want it. If that's bad, then... Actually, it kind of is bad. Sam, you need to get Sweetie out of there, now! I solved the mystery of why the bees moved into Ron. Their old hive was destroyed by a honey badger. Sweetie! Whiskers, that's it! That's why he knew where the old hive was, and that's why he was so eager to help us. He wants to eat all the honey. Phil, it's you again. Stay back, or the queen gets the stink spray. I'm just here for the honey. If you spray, we sting. Sam, do something. <laughs> OK, everyone calm down. No one needs to get stung or sprayed. Sweetie, your sting meter is almost full. You can't take any more stings. Why don't you forget the honey and leave now? No deal, Sam. I'm a honey badger. I'm gonna get that sweet, sweet honey one way or another. Your Majesty, what if you gave Sweetie some honey? Oh, if word gets out that I'm giving honey away, all kinds of animals will come after it. Work with me here, Your Majesty. 
you did turn our jet into a sticky using mega hive. I had no choice. We loved our old hive until he destroyed it. <laughs> What about a trade? A trade? trade? Yep. We could fix up your old hive, and Sweetie here could protect it from all those other animals. You could pay him in honey. Interesting. Sweetie here would make a great guard. He isn't afraid of anyone. Yes, I think that could work out quite nicely. Not so fast. I got better things to do than guard a bunch of bees. Hey, I understand. If you're not up for the job, we'll find someone tougher. What? I'm the toughest guy around. Your Majesty, you got yourself a bodyguard. Your Majesty, how's it going with the new hive? Couldn't be better. Now that we aren't worried about honey thieves, production is way up, which means there's plenty of extra honey for Sweetie. You know he really is sweet deep down. <laughs> Sam, Kit, I gotta thank you both. This is the best job I ever had. Mmm, honey. Milk. Hey, keep moving, buddy. <gasps> Seems like this arrangement is working out, which means... Another creature case closed. <laughs> I'm Agent Sam Snow. And I'm Agent Kid Casey. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's up to you now. Stay cool out there, Agent. You can count on us, Director. <laughs> <laughs>